We've got GABA oolong tea. GABA tea apparently on, helps you with your neurotransmitters. The first time we heard GABA oolong, we were attracted by its unique name. GABA oolong, also named Jai Yi oolong, is a kind of oolong tea that is fermented under anaerobic conditions. And the tea fermented under its condition will produce a lot of GABA. The gamma amino butyric butyric acid. Butyric acid. An amino acid that occurs naturally in the human brain that will help neurons communicate effectively. GABA tea was first discovered by Japanese researcher Dr. T-S-U-S-H-I-D-A. I'll let you figure that one out on your own. And gradually became known and loved by more and more people. We've got it brewing here. It's got to brew for five to eight minutes. It's clear. Just a, a greenish tinge is all you get with that one. And this teapot we found at an estate sale for five dollars but it's pretty cool so we found a link on a tv for one that's the same size but without the fluting just in case you like the way this works because same it, concept with the strainer if which, you notice once the tea gets out we'll show you the strainer in more detail but this teapot is the reason that when there's an estate sale or a garage sale or a sale at a thrift store you we are there. Probably go, and we are always there. You can find some stuff that's rare or collector's edition or whatever for a fairly cheap price, or just cool stuff. These like are people this. who've had, you know, maybe eighty years of living, and then they go um, move into an assisted living, and they can't take all their stuff with them. So you can find binoculars and all kinds of good stuff. And of course, we're looking at teapots. So we found a TV listing for you that we'll put in the description that is just like this but without the fluting. But the cool thing about this strainer is it's got little holes. It's actually glass just like the teapot. And the little tiny slashes in it are where the water goes through. And you saw how rapidly the water went through there. It's pretty cool. And another example of a really cool thing that you can get at an estate sale is this. Same place. Tiny little book. Look at it. And I'll try to look that up for you, too. And if I can, I'll link it. The little book of tea, you can see it on here. Um, it does have a little cover with it, too. And this book is... Um, well, it doesn't really say who it is. But it's basically a tiny book about the history of tea, and it's by Randy Burgess. Mm-hmm. Copyright... 1998. 98. Can you smell it? There's definitely a sweet quality to it. And we got Ooh. this as a sample, so we might get some more of this if we really like it. All right. Look at that. How much that expanded. You saw it was just a little bitty bit. You gonna burn yourself? Can you see the slashes here? Little bitty holes. Oh, it ends up nice and amber. It started out just the slightest green. And we got to save some for Daddy to try. It is sweet. Now, oolong is halfway between black and green. This tends more toward the black in my mind, but the color, of oh, course, yeah. is more toward the green. So it's, as you can see, this really nice color. The smell. What is this? It's well, kinda, it reminds me of black tea, honestly. It kind of smells like roses. Mm hmm Like, not fully roses, but, like, really... You mean it's floral? Yeah. Maybe a little. It also smells kind of like the churros that you get at Costco. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a little... It's definitely depositing a sweetness on my tongue and upper teeth. Isn't it interesting what tea does? I like it. And it leaves a very nice mouthfeel at, like, very the back of your mouth. It's not as loud as other oolongs. Your milky oolongs are just, you know, hey, here we are. This one is delicate isn't the right word. It's polite. Mm -hmm. How are you today? Would you like some nice taste? Here you go.
And with this little teapot, you could just keep pouring your water over and get your multiple infusions, or you could just leave it in there and infuse it longer, whichever you would like to do. It's pretty cool. And just watch it get darker and darker. Or do like I'm about to do and pour some more water in there. That's and really, fun. the design of this teapot is very interesting and very nice. Definitely sweet. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It's a sweet aftertaste, too. Would you say it's a little bit chamomile-ish? I, yeah. But there's definitely like a caramel apple folly mm -hmm. kind of. Mm -hmm. It's caramel. Yeah. Caramel. With a little bit of fall essence. Like. <sighs> well, you know you eat caramel apples in the fall. Yeah. But there's just like this. It, it looks like the color of leaves and fall. It. It's festive. Hmm. Mm. Almost brown sugar. Mm. Maybe a hint of uh, green peas. Green peas. She's being silly. There's no green peas. But it's sweet. There's a... What's that aftertaste, though? Like Sugar. Kind of tart. Well, that would be the apple. Yeah. Just to be thorough, you know what I have to do. Ugh. Doesn't really need cream, actually, but I'm going to add it anyway. So, would we buy this again? Most certainly. It's very nice with cream because it brings out the caramel. But it absolutely isn't necessary. You could drink this without cream, no problem. By the way, I wouldn't recommend using this exact teapot when it's hot. Did you try using the handle? Or you could leave off the lid. The hand... I'm trying to use the lid to my advantage because the handle is too tiny. And Would will like not me to do it provide me leverage. You? Okay, sure. Burn your Are hand. your hands bigger than mine? Oh, I've, I've been doing it, baby. No, my hands are still bigger. No, I'd say not you're by not much. The same. Holy cow. The kid grew. I would say I wouldn't use cream on this one. Just because it's lovely on its own. But have it anyway and see. Actually, I think the cream is. It's a different flavor with the cream. More of a caramel candy. Mm -hmm. All right, you should definitely go down in the description and get this one and try it. And Very I think tasty. You should get some more too. Very tasty, and apparently it'll help you relax. You know, are you feeling relaxed? No, I'm feeling energized. She's feeling energized. Oh, good. Because I had a Twizzlers before this. Oh. Until we see you again. Make sure to make time for taking a good book. Have some Gabba.